Hello everyone, today I will show you how to check if the wall crack based on the sensile stresses when they compared to the models of rupture. If we go to ACI code as shown in this paragraph, if the factored moments and shear based on the moment of inertia of a wall taken equal to 0.7, the gross moment of inertia indicated that the wall will crack in flexure based on the models of rupture, the analysis should be repeated with the I equal to 0.35. Therefore, if the tensile stresses exceed the modulus of rupture, we should use a crack section for walls that has a moment of inertia equal to 0.35. Okay, going to ETAPS now. We mainly need to use this load combination, which is internal force X and Y. And these load combinations, I have uh, previously defined them in this video. ETAP slot combination, you may check this video in order to know what I have typed here. However, I will just remind you, this slot combination is for response spectrum analysis that is multiplied by I over R and then scaled up again with the scale factor. This scale factor is computed as the ratio of 0 0.85, the base shear from equivalent lateral force procedure divided by the base shear obtained from response spectrum analysis. Therefore, I will use this slot combination and this slot combination in order to check the tensile stresses of the walls. However, before proceeding, I have obtained these scale factors based on the gross moment of inertia. However, now we have changed the moment of inertia to 0 0.7 based on this table. Therefore, the mod shapes obtained from the model analysis has been changed due to a change in the stiffness. As you all know, the mode shapes are based on the stiffness. Therefore, changing mode shapes will lead to a change in the design demand of response spectrum analysis. In other words, we need uh, again to compute the scale factor by obtaining the base shear of response spectrum analysis. And from structure output base reaction, Let's just compute the scale factor again. This is what I'm trying to do here. Okay, the base shear from equivalent lateral force is just the same. However, the base shear for response spectrum analysis in the X direction has been changed to 32,000 and for the Y direction 45,000. Let's just copy these values and as shown here, the scale factor is changed now. Okay. Going to ETABS, I will unlock the model. And from define load combinations, internal force X load combination, I will use 2.24 because I'm using Thai code. 2.24. Let me check it again. Okay. For internal force in the Y direction, I will use the scale factor of 1.6. Okay, this is all for load combinations. However, before running the model, I will go to design live load reduction factor. I will select the first choice, no live load reduction, and I will run the model. In the meantime, let's go to ACI code. This is the modulus of rupture in ACI code. We need to compute this equation. You can check it by yourself. We will use the load combinations in ETAB, the one I have shown you previously, in order to obtain the tensile stresses of the walls. If the tensile stresses exceed the modulus of rupture obtained from this equation, then we should use 0 0.35 for the inertia of the wall. Of course, I'm using F'C of 50 MPa for vertical elements. Okay, the analysis is finished now.
and this wall is on grid number four. I will select the grid number four from the elevation option. Okay, this wall is aligned in the X direction. Let's see, click apply. As shown, the tensile stresses here at the side of this wall exceeds 5 MPa, therefore this wall will crack. This is just how we can do it. I will take a picture for this one. And this is pier number 4 due to force in the X direction. 3 or 4 is just the same. Because there is kind of symmetry in structural element configuration. Okay, let's check at the internal force Y now for this one. I have obtained all the results for all the walls and as shown in these figures the tensile stresses of pier number 1, 2, 7 and 8 doesn't exceed the modulus of rupture while the tensile stresses of all other walls exceed the modulus of rupture as shown in these figures. Therefore we need to reduce the stiffness to 0.35 for all walls, I will reduce even 1, 2, 7, 8. And I will unlock the model. And from define wall sections, I will change this one to 0 0.35. Normally we use 0 0.35 for walls in tall building. This is so normal. Reducing the stiffness is really affecting the demand forces. It can give really good estimate of a floor displacement, but at the same time, it may underestimate the demand forces in the building because stiffer element mean more force. And now I will run the model one more time in order to compute the scale factor for the last time. Okay, now we, we need to export the base shear from response spectrum analysis because we need to compute the scale factor for the last time. I hope it's clear why we need to do it every time because as you can see the base shear for response spectrum analysis is always changing due to a change in the stiffness of the structure. I will go to this sheet.
and therefore this is the end of this tutorial and please continue the next video